What does blending paint have to do with computer graphics? Back in the early days of computer graphics, there used to be a problem with what's called banding, where a gradient will show different stripes even though it's supposed to be smooth. The way that they fixed this was to add what they call dithering, which is a fancy way of saying we added dots. When I turn on the dithering option, it definitely makes it look a lot smoother. So if you look at the gradient, you can see that the color from one stripe extends into the color next to it by adding small little dots. And that's very similar to my blending technique where I paint stripes of color, and then I use circular motions to drag one color into another. I can smooth out any swirls by moving the brush in a straight line back and forth. I like to call this band blending because you paint in bands of color and then soften the edges between them. It seems to give me more control over where each color in a gradient ends up in the painting. It doesn't have to be stripes. It could be irregular shapes and you just soften the edges between them. What's funny about this is what used to be a problem in graphic arts actually became a solution in my painting.